the external oblique muscle. Let's use this one right here. This is the rectus abdominis. In fact, let me just separate these two. Here we go. These fibers are not that nice. I will use these fibers. These ones on the side, just to show you, they're much better. Too. Here we have the external oblique fibers. The rectus abdominis. I'm just putting this on the top right here. You can see how they're straight and going downwards. Like this. so, we have two muscles here and one external oblique aponeurosis. At this point, the second aponeurosis is actually known as the internal oblique. The muscle runs parallel to the external oblique, right behind it. But this aponeurosis splits to cover the front side and the back side. If I were to turn it around, you can see how, here you can nicely see the rectus abdominis and how it's covered on the back side with the, not just the internal oblique aponeurosis, but another aponeurosis from the third muscle. So to illustrate it actually, on the top side, in front, if I were to hold it like so, in the front we have external oblique aponeurosis, then internal oblique aponeurosis front part, internal oblique aponeurosis back part, and finally the transverse abdominis aponeurosis. So this is how they're covering it and forming the rectus sheath. But as we descend downward, there comes a point, namely this point, it's been marked with a red from a black marker, known as the arcuate line. This line is where every aponeurosis on the back side comes forward. That's why this area is completely bare. You don't see the aponeurosis here. The rectus sheet has been removed from this point. It has come to the front side. So I will use a green mark pin to mark the arcuate line. And here once again, you can see the rectus abdominis, to mark the rectus abdominis. And here we can see actually the linea alba in the center. So that's very nice. Put a white pin there, notes the linea alba in the center. Right over here. Now, so the rectus sheath formed by the three aponeurosis and the three muscles. And here you can also see the transverse abdominis muscle. Right over here. See how the fibers are running transversely. Remember, external oblique muscles were front and descending. Internal oblique were basically running in the outward directions. They're also called back pocket. But the transverse abdominis muscle, they are actually running 